Have you ever wondered, what does a data analyst do? And what does their typical day look like? I've been a data analyst for over 10 years, and I'll be sharing what my typical day looks like as a data analyst in tech. Currently on a hybrid schedule and today is a remote day. I start my day by checking emails, Slack messages for any urgent tasks, and then check my calendar to see what I have planned for the day. Today I only have two meetings. The first is a sprint, which is a short defined period of time where the team only focuses on completing a set amount of work. During the sprint meeting, I give a quick update on what I'm working on, any blockers, parking lot discussions, if I have longer conversations that I need to follow up on. The next meeting is with stakeholders on a new project to identify KPIs, key performance indicators, and metrics for a new project. The workflow of a data analyst can typically be broken down into three main steps. The problem, data, and reporting. Problem involves defining the problem you are solving for. This could be, why are we losing customers? Is the product successful? What is the customer retention rate? Frequently, stakeholders may come to a meeting with the solution already in mind, but it's the data analyst's job to step back and define the problem statement and expectations with them. Defining the objective requires a combination of soft skills, some business knowledge, and the ability to translate problems into data. I find that having a design document with all the requirements written down prior to building prevents a lot of rework because now the expectation is clear. Once I have defined the problem, I move on to the next step of data. Data can come from a variety of sources and it is the data analyst's job to figure out which data set best solves the problem and collect it. This involves using existing data sets or generating new ones through an object storage or a data lake. And once I have identified all the data sets I need, I analyze it for reporting. This includes identifying errors in the raw data and transforming it into an aggregated data set that allows me to easily create insights for reporting. This is especially helpful if you're dealing with large data sets as an aggregated data set allows you to be more optimized. So I do this through a combination of SQL, Python, ETL tools, which stands for extract, transform, and load to combine data from multiple data sources and apply the business rules. Once I have cleaned and prepared data, I can now work on interpreting it in reporting. Reporting is a presentation of your results in a digestible manner for the stakeholders. Many times this is through visualizations using tools such as Tableau, QuickSight, Looker. These visualizations are automated and answers the problem from step one. So the problem statement of, is the product successful, can be answered using bar graphs and a line chart to show trends of customers using the product so we can measure the success. Reporting also entails doing a demo of the dashboard for the stakeholders and getting feedback if another iteration is needed. Time for the second half of the day. I usually eat a late lunch and try not to eat anything heavy as it makes it harder to stay focused during the day. Today's lunch is squash salad, then straight back to work. After lunch, I work on ad hoc tasks and sync with teammates to brainstorm projects. We talk about things like how to tune a failing data job, visualization ideas, and design reviews. We frequently bounce ideas off each other and that's one of the things I love about a data analytics team. 5.30, my workday is finally complete. Being home all day, I force myself to go on a 30 minute walk around my neighborhood. I do this while listening to a business podcast. It energizes me to listen to new ideas and learn something new every day. After my walk, I have dinner and catch up on reality shows. Reality TV is my weakness. I'm currently watching Love is Blind with my shiitake mushrooms. After about an hour or so, I get ready for bed with a book. I'm currently rereading 
the four hour work week. I'm not a voracious reader, but ending the day with a book allows me to minimize screen time and wind down for bed. By 10 p.m., it's time to sleep and do it all over again. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'd love to know in the comments if any of you have experience or an interest in data analytics, and I'd love to share more videos like this.